Don't, don't, don't wake up. I'm looking for a car. You don't want to disturb me. Oh. Hi. Glad to see you. Well, you shouldn't have waited up. I had to. I mean, I wanted to. I wanted to. I went to the... I went to um, and picked up some stuff, some food. I made some sandwiches. Because um, I knew you hadn't eaten much. And, um... And then I thought it wasn't a bad idea, considering that um, this blizzard, we don't know how long it's going to hit for. And... Why are you looking at me like that? You shopped? I know how. You cooked? Well, I put some things together. I mean, I put some things on top of other things, in between things. And I think that's cooking, technically speaking. What's going on? Come on, give it to me. Nothing, it's just... I mean, I... I'm scared to death. Something happened? Yeah, something happened. We had that scene at Rhodey's tonight. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that really happened. Oh, God, Bob, that was really bad. <sighs> we don't fight like that. Other people fight like that. We don't do that. I don't do that. I don't throw things. I don't act like Blair Daimler. I'm sorry, Bo. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I'm... The fight, all of it, I'm sorry. Honey, it's like you say, though. You know, people fight. Yeah, but do they feel this lousy afterwards? Because if they did, I don't think they'd keep arguing. Yeah, I know. I, I feel the same way. I feel lousy, too. You know, I'm walking around now, I got this crease, you know, perpetual frown. I don't even know I'm doing it, and all of a sudden somebody will say, hey, Kamesh, you know, why the look? <laughs> I'm ruining your life, aren't I? No, no, honey. Yeah. Honey, I don't think so. Listen, we're going to get past this. Oh, well, if we were going to get past this, we'd be looking at it in our rearview mirror. I don't know what else we're supposed to do. Well, then we just, we try something else. I'm not giving up. That I'm not doing. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't know what, what to do. I know, I know. You're not alone there. I'm not giving up either. But, you know, marriage isn't a sprint. It's a marathon. And right now we just have a little cramp here or something. Maybe we hit the wall, but we're here. That's half the battle right there. Now all we have to do is figure out what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Well, then please, share it with me. We're both total control freaks. We have to know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and, and right now we're in the middle of the unknown. We're, we're, we're at an impasse, and we just both dug in, and neither one of us are going to admit we're wrong. Probably not. But if we're going to get anywhere, one of us has to. And I don't think either one of us can. What? It's a possibility, you know? Each of us, from our own perspective, is right. God, you're so involved, it's exhausting. Sitting here talking about ape-like tenacity, and you're talking about subjective realities. I... I can't be talking about subjective realities, because I don't even really know what the heck they are. Honey, hey, hey, no, no, I know what they are. I do, I do. Come on. We're just having a conversation. We're not having a conversation, Bo. For God's sake, we're talking about our marriage. No, our marriage is just fine. We, we just have to make some compromises. But that's what I'm talking about. We can't compromise. We don't know how. Hey, okay, just take it easy. Don't get all worked up. Our marriage is falling apart here, Bo. Maybe. No, it's just... Maybe. It's not definitely. But what if it is falling apart? What if I'm losing the best friend I ever had? I'm not saying that things haven't been kind of wrong lately, but I think you're overreacting. Yeah, because I'm a metaphorical wreck that you wish you'd never married. Oh. Should be. You didn't have any idea what you were letting yourself in for, did you? Listen, don't do this. Don't try to make this your fault. We're supposed to be at odds right now. And if 
you start tearing yourself apart, then I'm going to have to defend you. No fun in that. Fun, is that a joke? No. It's not a joke. Up until now, our marriage has been just great. It's been better than anything that I ever hoped for. Really? Yeah. Really. Look, I'm not conceding anything right now. <laughs> but you know, if we'd, if we'd never gotten married, we'd still be on opposite sides about RJ and about the kidnapping, you know? That doesn't have anything to do with our marriage. Not directly. Unless we let it. Unless you're saying that you want out. Is that what this is all about? I can't even believe that you would say that. I don't want out. I most emphatically do not want out. What do you want? I want us to stop fighting. Oh, God, I want to... I want to be able to talk to you. I, I can't make it through a day without running it by you. It's as if the day doesn't even exist unless I've told you about it. You know? But if I can't talk to you about it, if I can't tell you about my day, I'm the loneliest woman in the whole world. I want you to trust me again. Honey, I trust you with my life. I know you do with your life, I know. I want you to trust me with my life. You don't have faith in any of my choices. Not anymore. circumstances, I would be laughing right now. Well, that'd be a relief. But, you know, I can't... I, I don't know what to say to you without you having it to... taking it the wrong way. You know, I'm afraid to justify my actions to you. Because it, and all of a sudden, we'll be right in the middle of it. All over again. But I can't not say something because... I, I've never seen you so miserable. Just like you said, honey, everything right now is just it's too loud. And all I want to do is just put my arms around you and hold you tight. Just forget about everything else. Cannon. Come here, Shay. Fiore here. Sorry if I woke you. You in Canada? Uh, I couldn't make it out there. They canceled the flight. Well, not surprised. Can't say I'm happy either. Look, I don't want to lose that lead. Uh, you're going to like it even less when I tell you what's going down here. We got a nasty one. And I need your hands on attention. She was unconscious in the hospital uh, parking garage. That's not lousy enough. Turns out that her old man is Congressman Graham. Graham isn't tough on crime, Congressman Graham? No, he's Graham isn't tough on cops. He's taken the roof right off the police station. Fiore called to give me a heads up. Says that he's on his way to my office right now to wait for me. Well, I know he's not one of your biggest fans, nor are you his. Honey, don't sugarcoat it. The guy and I can't even stand each other. He didn't want me in this job from the get-go. What's the weather doing? No, oh, nothing good. It's got major drifts out there, and the snow's still coming down. Mm -hmm. 
I know I'm not supposed to ask, but do you have any idea when I'm likely to see you again? I don't even have a clue. I'll make it as fast as possible, though. You can count on that. rib bones on the table I again. Won't, I, won't, I, won't. I, swear I, won't. I guess if we just... If we can get mad when we need to and get it over with instead of bottling everything up until it blows up. If we could just... stay in touch and... hang on to each other. I'd say we were doing a pretty good job of hanging on to each other tonight. Well, I'm not an advocate of um, using sex as a means to resolve issues, but when it works, it works. Oh, yeah. Promise me that we'll keep on trying. I will if you will. You got it. Call me.